So, hello everybody. Welcome to our fourth episode of the Gaijin Smash podcast. Jerry's going to introduce us, so go ahead and introduce us, Jerry. Hey, but well, you just introduced the show. I mean, what am I supposed to do now? Well, what's the show about? Um, well, we're going to learn a bit of Japanese words. Um, we're also going to talk about some some shows we've been watching lately. And, or news. Or news. And, um, and whatever else we want to talk about. Heck yeah. Yeah, we're going to have three parts total. The first part, like Jerry said, is we're going to teach you guys some Japanese words followed by some Japanese news, anime, manga, uh, dramas, you know, pretty much anything Japanese related, you know, just to inform you guys about Japan and its media or what's going on in Japan. And then um, the third part is going to be whatever we feel like talking about. So here we go. So why don't you guys introduce yourselves? I'm Jerry. <laughs> I'm Alex. And I'm Kiko. So to start off the Japanese, the new Japanese words, we're going to have Jerry start it off since he started everything off today. Are you kidding me, dude? That's, that's, that's what you... <laughs> just come on, dude. Just give us a word, dude. Explain it to us. Use it in a sentence. Kyoku. Kono kyoku wa... No, that's very, very, very feminine. <laughs> that sounded very... Sorry, Alex. Kono kyoku wa... Uma. Uma. Your word is kyoku? Kyoku. Alright, what does it mean? Song. Song? Yeah. Alright, so just song. That's all. Yeah. Um, okay. Notice how I'm keeping it relatively simple. Yes, and how do you spell it? Uh, and, and like Romaji letters. K Y O K U. Alright, Kyoku. So that means song. Kyoku. There you go. Alright, Alex, what do you got for us? What word do you want to bring to us today? Ah, shit. Um. <laughs> <laughs> it's, not that hard. it's not that hard, man. <laughs> not prepared, I see. Uh, yep. You got me. Um. I just been trying to think. I've been trying to think uh, about some random words. Oh. All right, here. Let me take this one. So the word that I came today is a very useful word. It's a word you can use when you meet new people, and you want to hold a conversation, and you want to keep the conversation going. Even as a foreigner that doesn't know that much Japanese, this will keep the conversation pretty much good. And the word is shumi. Shumi. Yes. And that translates into hobbies or hobby. So when you're having a conversation with a friend or whatever in Japanese, you could ask them, like, what are your hobbies? And it could be as simple as shumi wa, you know? Like, you don't need to say anything else um, beyond that. Just shumi and then wa, which is wa is like is. So it'll be like hobbies is, and then they can reply to you. And if you don't understand what they say when they reply to you, just nod your head yes, say hi. <laughs> hey, smile or nod, just smile. smile nod. nod. There you go. Smile and nod. So shumi means hobbies. Um, what are your hobbies? And, you know, it's a good way to keep the conversation going. Very useful word. And kyomi means interest. <laughs> yeah, kyomi is interest, but that's that could be a, a word for another day. So, okay. <laughs> Alex, mm-hmm. what is your word of the day? I guess you. T- I guess you could take the one that Jerry just brought up. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, um, I could actually connect it with a little bit different word, uh-huh. which I kind of been thinking. And the word is gonna be "nigate." Ooh, never heard of that word. What does that mean? Ba- uh, basically, "nigate" means as uh, something like "I don't like" as a meaning. But uh, the literal meaning would be probably something like, not, not good at it. Something like, uh, let me put it in a, in a example. Okay. For instance, Anata no shumi wa sports toka ski. Yeah, 
スポーツは苦手。ああ。で、ほう、いや、で、ほう、ジャーロック、you probably understood, but for someone who need a little bit of a translation for that,、uh, what is your,、uh, what is your hobby? Do you like sports or something? Nope. I don't like slash. I'm not good at sports. So I'm so, not really into sports, pretty much. Yep. But Nigata basically means that I don't like it because I'm not good at it. Okay, I gotcha. But something, something、uh, in between and both at the same time, you know? Would it, would it be the opposite of I'm not interested? Uh, it wouldn't be the opposite.、Uh, if、uh, you're not interested, like、uh, the last the, the word you've been using, kill me. Kill me, you just, yeah. Y- yeah, exactly. Kill me, Ganai. That's gonna be, I'm not interested. All right, so, ne- negat- you said na- negate, is that what you said? Yeah, it's gonna、All、be、right. negate. All right. Three vowels, yeah. Negate. Negate, o m a e Did you know that word, Jerry? I did not. All right, so see, there you go. New word for us, too. Yeah, yeah. All right, so the words for today were. Jerry, do you want to repeat them all? Okay. Nigate, kyoku, shumi. Which means I'm not really into or I don't really like, slash, song, slash.、Uh, wh- which word was it? Fuck. Hobbies, <laughs> hobbies, on, hobbies, hobbies, hobbies. Shit, that was my word. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fuck. Okay.、Um, <laughs> all right. All right. So there you go. Some words for you guys. You know, don't forget them. Very important words. Well, maybe not really that important, but important enough to have a good conversation when you talk with Japanese people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So let's move on to the next segment. Do you guys <laughs> recently, like in the past few hours, have you guys seen any new like Japanese news or anything Japanese related you want to throw out there? If you don't have anything, I could start it off. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. All right. It, I guess、first. I start it off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, you, you guys know how, like, when, every time you go to, like, a konbini in Japan, when you go to, like, the magazine section, you see, like, a bunch of, like, freaking hentai. I don't know what you're talking about, Kiko. Where have you been going? <laughs> you know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, Alex, do you know what he's talking about? I, I have no idea. Um, uh, okay, uh, let me, re- let me、uh, roll it one more time. So, you are asking if we know about the sexual inconvenience tour. Yes, yeah, when you walk by it, you see a bunch of like naked cartoon anime girls, and you see a bunch of like naked girls, regular Japanese girls. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, almost naked. That's the rule. No, nud- no open nudity. Well, not completely. Yeah. But anyway, they have, they, have the, they have these magazines like out in the open, right in your face. When you, when you look, walk by it, you're going to see everything. You'll be like, oh shit, you know, like it's damn. Like here、like、in the States,、that. man. Yeah, here in the States, like when you walk by the magazines, like we have the magazines, but they're like covered like in a white、um, wrapping, wrapping bag. So you can't really、mm-hmm. see much of what's going on. You know, you're like, you can barely see like the girl's head or whatever, or just the title. But in Japan, you can see like the boobs. Well, not, not like the, the nipples and shit, but you can see like the boobs, you know, like grow, like anime girls with like the, the redness on their cheeks. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, they have, they have this bait. Yeah, so it's very obvious. So you see it like it's right in your face type of thing. Like,、mm-hmm. well, anyway,、um, so I guess、uh, the convenience stores in Japan, the most popular one is 7 Eleven. You guys know that? I didn't know that. Well, I always went to Family Mart. 7 Eleven is all over the country. Really? Family Mart is not? Yeah, I mean, depending uh, uh, on the region you're at,、uh, there could be Family Marts, there could be、uh, mini stops. But mini stop is、uh, mainly for the, like, for the Honshu Island. So on Hokkaido, we don't have any mini stop.、Hmm. Yeah, but like 7 Eleven, Family Mart. Uh, fucking uh, Lawson, and what else? Yeah, basically, these three are the main like convenience store chains. Yeah, the big ones, like you're gonna see them everywhere. Yeah, but yeah, but、uh, there's also family marts、um, in one more, one more、uh, co- convenience store chain. I, I don't remember which one. In Hokkaido, we have Seiko Mart, but that's more like a 
Hokkaido or Sapporo thing, right? Because they don't have that in yeah, Tokyo. Yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. Mm-hmm. But in the same time, uh, in Tokyo, you definitely will see like mini stuff, for instance. Yeah. So anyway, um, the big convenience stores in Japan, specifically 7-Eleven and Lawson, um, pretty much they're going to try and stop selling those magazines. What? I mean, because, <laughs> yeah, they, they want to stop selling them. So the convenience store could become more like a, an environment for more, I guess, more welcoming environment for women, children and foreign tourists. So, I mean, I, 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 I didn't feel any less welcome. Did you? No, no, I thought, I thought it was perfectly fine. But I guess also since like the Olympics is coming up, it's kind of like a thing that I guess they're trying to like have yeah, more, more yeah. of a clean image, you know? We got the Olympics, yeah. Yeah. So, I, I guess keep a, an eye out for that, Alex. If you go to 7 Eleven or Lost the next time, man. Uh huh. Like see, see if they stop like, selling the magazines, man. If they do, report back to us. Yeah, we got to know <laughs> that information. Yeah. <coughs> Cause, so, they're going to stop trying. They're going to stop. They're going to try and stop selling those magazines. No. <laughs> Why are you so upset, Jerry? Because <laughs> that was where all the manga came from, dude. Yeah. Even though they had those on the cover, it was mostly manga, not anything else. Right, Alex? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was a lot of like hentai, like anime girls. I mean, there are two main sections. One which we've been talking about, like that's the adult section, but uh, next to it, it's always uh, oh, yeah, just yeah, yeah, yeah. A, yeah, simple, simple plain magazines and uh, manga. Yeah, so like One Piece and shit. Yeah, exactly. So you see like magazine section you see like the latest volume of one piece and right next to it some anime titties i mean something like that <laughs> okay <laughs> all right so that's my news of the day what do you guys got for me or for us well yes it's a good question it's a very good question alex what do you got or do you guys or do you guys have a song you want to recommend oh mm, actually Mm, let's see. So, not really. Okay, I don't know if I said this, but the did I talk about Villain Saga before? I don't think I have. <laughs> did I? <laughs> Flashback to the first episode of the podcast, everybody. <laughs> Is it? Yeah, I don't yeah, remember. Dude. I don't remember. Holy crap. Yeah, Never dude, mind. you said something about it getting like an anime at a te- at a tap te- at a tap te- whatever adaptation adaptation yeah whatever adaptation yeah, yeah it's all about Vikings and Vikings fuck bitches and smoke weed or something like that smoke weed every day um well okay well I haven't checked this out but supposedly it's a good one uh-huh. and it's called Mori Bito. All right. So I don't know. I, I I don't know. I was like recommended by some guy who's like, "Hey, if you're disappointed with uh, the way Game of Thrones ended, and you want anime similar to that style, you should check out this one, along with like a few others." And supposedly, I don't know. I guess Moribito is just like about I don't know feudal Japan, just like girls trying to protect this one prince, little boy, dude. From all these people trying to kill him. And that's basically all I know about it. But I'm like, hey, it looks pretty interesting. Might as well check yeah, it out. You haven't checked it out yet. I haven't checked it out yet. But yeah, can you can you translate the title into English? Uh, I don't know the title in English. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you look it up and report back to us, Jerry? Do you think I could just Google these things right now, Kiko? Yes, you, you can look? Google. Dude, it it really look? takes like two seconds. Dude, dude. Do you think I'm in front of a computer right now where I could just Google these things? Yes, <laughs> I, I, that's exactly what I think. <laughs> All right, Morivito, guardian of the spirit. <laughs> <laughs> Were those kids outside outside your window, Alex, or like are you, are you coming out of your closet? <laughs> coming out of the closet? Jesus Christ. Well, put those kids back in the closet. Tell them to shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Let me close the window, man. <laughs> no, it's all all the time. No, yeah, that, that used to happen. Is... I used to, yeah, that used to happen to me all the time. Dude, when I was in Japan, man, like all the school kids, um, uh-huh. they, like the elementary, they would just like 
go to school like singing songs yelling being all happy and i'm over here like shut the fuck up i'm trying to sleep man. <laughs> <laughs> actually yeah an anime that i do recommend that i did watch was uh basilisk it's kind of an old one but i mean animation style it doesn't feel old and alex is gonna love it it's pretty freaking bloody man it is it is just about ninjas and Ah, it's it's uh, it's awesome. It's like twelve episodes. No way, how many? Is it twelve episodes? No, it's twenty. Twenty four. Right. <laughs> but it's just like, oh man. I I remember as a kid seeing it on Adult Swim and I'm just like remembering like holy crap, there's just a bunch of blood and titties. I, I can't watch this. <laughs> <laughs> but then I watched it now as an adult and I was like, dude, this is some this is some good shit. So you would you would recommend it to watch if you're into ninjas? If you, if, you, if you don't mind the titties and the blood and the, and the ninjas. ninjas, yeah. Okay, gotcha. Heck yeah. All right, cool. And it's called Basilisk. 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 Yeah. All right, cool. Um, so Alex, um, did you come up yep. with anything? Because I could throw something your way. Um, I do have some things. I w- I kind of want to watch, but uh. I don't think it's going to be a news for you. Oh, okay. Has, uh, okay. How about this? Has, 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 a uh, so has the detective Pikachu movie come out in Japan yet? I don't think so. Well, Alex, why don't you get your phone book out, call your local theater and ask them if the detective Pikachu movie has come out. Yet. <laughs> um, I've never been calling to a movie theater. No, so. I'm just kidding. Dude, don't call it. <laughs> <All right. laughs> All right, so what show have you been wanting to watch, man? Or have you seen, like, any good hentai lately, man? Is there, like, any good hentai? Or... <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ, guys. Good hentai. Um, let me check my folder. <laughs> <laughs> any recent downloads? Uh, nope. Unfortunately. Damn. Damn. Yeah. But uh, there's one more. Um, since we're talking about the anime, uh, I have just one more I kind of want to try to watch. And the anime called, uh, if I'm reading it right, it's Yormungand. Yormungand. Um, let me put the spell uh, for you, maybe. It's going to be better this way. Are you going to send it to us? Uh-huh. All right. Do you know what it's about? <coughs> okay. Yeah, it's basically about... Um, about the war times and about the uh, people who sell in be- weapons they're like they're like uh, they sell in weapons slash they kind of like mercenary ish mm-hmm. but they're working only for themselves so basically what the, the gun sellers are probably supposed to do yeah so it's uh jor <laughs> j-o-r-m-u-n G A N D Jormun Gand. It's kind of weird to say, man. It's kind of yeah, weird. Yeah, I word. guess it, it kind of has a different ring to it. Not like a. Uh, feels like a, you don't you, you are not supposed to read it by English uh, rules. So it it's, it's kind of feels like a, it's supposed to be like Jormun Gand or something like that. Yeah. Or maybe, <laughs> or maybe, uh, Hormun Gandu, Hormun Gand, Hormun Gand. <laughs> that's kind of I can't translate that into English dude like, I have no idea yeah that, I don't think that's English because uh, yeah, Jap- when kinda... Japanese is using uh, foreign stuff they are not just uh, being like yeah they probably based that off German or something I have no idea dude could be could be they're usually using uh, like language languages and names all over the world when they're producing something like foreign each gotcha all right, well, once you check it out, man, report back to us and let us know what what you thought of it, if, if you would recommend it. All right. All right, so moving on to the to our freestyle topic. And before we do, Alex, can you remind us of our words for today? Um, It was... Kyomi. No, it wasn't Kyomi, dude. That was just a word. Oh, it was Shumi. <laughs> Shumi, my bad. Kyomi, well, I mean, if you guys do want to know, Kyomi means to be interested. 
and that's just all right here you go you just put in you just put another jab on me um, yeah so i was like i guess if you guys want to know kill me is to be interested and we just threw it out there because well i guess it kind of relates because shoot me is hobbies and jerry said also what are you interested in so kill me and like alex said what was your word alex i forgot <laughs> Nigate. Nigate is to pretty much say what you're not really into or what you don't really like more like uh, you're not really good at at yeah and I guess Kyomi is also kind of the opposite of that, saying like what you are interested in. All right, dude, all right, finish up. What were the words? Go ahead. So, um, yeah, we just explained Kyomi. Oh, okay. <laughs> Kyomi so, wasn't a word. <laughs> no, go ahead, go ahead, sorry. Well, kind of connect, connecting to <laughs> yeah. the three main words we've been using, which is um, Shumi, which is hobby. Yes. Uh, my word was Nigate, which is not to be good at, slash not interested not really mm. interested mm -hmm. and um jerry's word was kyoku which is a song song and a word relating to all those all three of those words is kyomi which means to be interested there you go so i guess there's a fourth additional word for you guys the secret word of the podcast the secret word of the day yeah it's the secret word of the day if you guys are listening to the secret word of the day go to twitter find us at at kiko brothers Tweet us the secret word of the day, and Alex would send you an exclusive Dragon Ball Z figure from Japan to your home address. First person to do it. What? What? W A T. What? No, but we'll, we'll, I guess uh, uh, that's actually something that we could introduce probably, like for one of the podcasts, like have like a, a secret word. Have someone tweet it to us, and if they tweet us the secret word, like the first person to get to it, we'll send them something from Japan, you know? Something, like a nice little gift, you know? But but not like every podcast, maybe just like once in a while. Are you guys down for that? <laughs> I'll do the first one since I brought it up. <laughs> <laughs> so, so yeah, whoever tweets that to us first, I'll send you, I'll, I'll send you guys a, a Dragon Ball Z figure of my choice, because... I'm just making shit up on the spot right now. <laughs> but this is legit right now. I'm saying this is Yo, legit. I'm tweeting it right now. Send that Dragon Ball Z figure <laughs> all the way across the hallway to me. Yeah. Yeah, but hey. <laughs> yeah. But if you but if you but if you know us, if you know us, you guys you guys can't tweet it to us because we already know you guys so so we're talking to our own moms out there, you guys don't count because we <laughs> Hi mom. Hi mom. <laughs> but yeah. So there you go. So anyway, let's move on. Um, I have a question for you guys. Mm -hmm. So is there any moments while you guys? Well, I mean, Alex here in Japan, but like when Alex, when you first, I guess, started living in Japan, or even something recently, and Jerry, when you first moved to Japan, is there anything that happened, like that was slightly embarrassing or embarrassing, where you had to do, use Japanese or you were in a situation and you're like, fuck, I fucked up. Oh. It, does, it, it could be like small or big, it doesn't matter. Uh, and Jerry, oh, I guess yeah. you can start. Go ahead, Jerry. Okay, so um, I was, I guess, okay, okay. I was technically, technically on, on a, I was technically on a date, so I'm at this restaurant, and it's it's not a big restaurant, right? Yeah. It's a, it's a small one, and there's no English anywhere. And me uh -huh. being, me being me, me being trying to be confident because you know i don't want to be not confident in front of my the alpha yeah <laughs> <laughs> so so um, we sit down and i and she t she asked me Daijoubu? like you know you you sure you're okay with this restaurant because you can't you sure you can read things and i was like yo Daijoubu, Daijoubu. You know. For everybody out there, um, Daijo Boo goes back to our first podcast, which means, are you good? Are you all right? Yeah. So I'm like, you know, Ore no Nihongo wa mecha omai. Which means, like, you know, my, my, my Japanese is like super great. Right? So yeah, I pick yes. up the, yeah, I pick up this menu and I'm all looking at it. And then she, she starts laughing. And she grabs the menu and just turns it around. <laughs> I was like, no. At that point, I, yeah, I guys just smashed it. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> so pretty much you went in there she's like you good and you're like yeah girl my japanese is perfect and they picked up the menu upside down <laughs> <laughs> way to fuck up <laughs> gaijin smash gaijin. gaijin smash gaijin smash fucking up situations baby yeah, <laughs> yeah. and uh, that's a good one that's a good all one, day yeah. every day baby yeah that's a good one jerry, yeah jerry told me about that one yeah, yeah. that's pretty funny yeah all right, all right. Who's next? Who's next? I can't Alex. be the only one embarrassing myself here. Alex, right, go ahead. All right. Um, to be honest, there have been multiple like small situations. Yeah, any any situation is fine, man. Yeah, because at first uh, I was well, kind of alone and with no people to hang out for several months straight. So kind of been trying to to do things in a settled settled way, kind of quiet. Yeah. Be care, be more careful. Still. Like uh, you do know uh, that I'm that I'm I'm smoking. Like yeah. I've been smoking for for many years, to be honest. Recently changed, uh, like switched to the e-cigarettes, not the regular tobacco, regular tobacco. But still, uh, when I just came to Japan, my like the first month, like still been smoking the regular ass cigarettes. Mm-hmm. Went to that, went to that mini stop, like an, a convenience store. It was. Uh, been living in a spot like a couple uh, hours away from Tokyo. So uh, just another day went to the convenience store. But to be honest, that was the first day when I uh, went to the convenience store because for several days, several days straight, we've been just settling down like uh, at our new home. Mm-hmm. Figuring out uh, how everything works. So probably like day two or day three uh, since I came to Japan and this is the first time I'm go- I've am I'm been going like quote-unquote shopping so went there didn't didn't speak Japanese at all it was uh, what ten years ago so mm-hmm. yeah so um, barely knew uh, barely knew English too by the way and uh, ju- just just taking a look holy shit this this store is stuck up kind of impression you know just walking around like a little kid in a candy shop <laughs> wondering, <laughs> one, wondering which one is which a couple times I uh, kind of got confused why the hell they been selling masks and condoms next to each other <laughs> well, uh, never, nev- yeah never mind that like I went to the went straight to the cashier and, and I uh, saw what I've been looking for the tobacco stash hey I didn't know I didn't know like half of that shit, so I just pointed at uh, some cigarettes I've been smoking at the time, and I've been trying to pay. I I don't know. I think that was a, I think that was American money. I I kind I kind of uh, been thinking that, hey, I don't really have like uh, the Japanese currency on me. Maybe they have something like uh, I don't know, some sort of a connection with bank. <laughs> So you, yeah. So you were thinking like, so, nah, which can exchange exchange just uh, withdrawals a certain amount equivalent to the Japanese currency. Mm. So um, and yeah, uh, I've been to, uh, like I had uh, the card. Uh, I don't remember the name, but that's basically was the same type of the card I've been using in the states. So you you have any amount of the currency, and when you withdraw it at the different country. It uh, gets you the equivalent of whatever you input it, like yeah, transfers. Yeah, basically. So I uh, let's say I have like uh, several uh, thousands of yen on my card I'm in the states, and I know only the fact that I need a hundred bucks, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I'm putting a hundred bucks, and it's uh, give me hundred bucks. Uh, in the same time, we've like we've drawn from my uh, balance as much of. Uh, of Japanese yen as uh, it needed for the exchange and transaction, you know. Mm. So I've been doing the same stuff ten years ago when I came to Japan from Russia. But and uh, my currency was in uh, American American dollars, you know, because uh, basically all over the world uh, this is the most uh, convenient currency. Of course, to have a, yeah to have a deal with. So I've been trying to uh, pay for that stuff. Didn't and didn't understand Japanese for like what ten minutes. So the poor guy <laughs> in front, he'd been trying to explain something like uh, that's not actually possible. And, but you know the Japanese lang- uh, the way how Japanese language works, mm-hmm. they do they don't say no, 
right away at least. Yeah. Yeah, so they kind of have a very polite and very confusing for foreigners, especially if you don't know Japanese culture at all. Uh, they have a very different way to say that they cannot do that. No, but we cannot do that, something like that. So I've been taking 10 minutes, and the guy been stressed out after the first five. <laughs> <laughs> Who've been trying to explain it? There's no actually particular connection of the system to the bank accounts and stuff like that. Yeah, so uh, you have to pay uh, with Japanese money, like in, in terms of cash, or uh, with cards which are kind of con like connected and supported by Japanese banks. Mm -hmm. But it's all Japanese only. So uh, I guess, <laughs> in a way, after 10 minutes, I realized okay, this works different, and that's the way how your Gaijin smashed it. Yeah, yeah, because uh, I think like here in the states, man, like if you if you don't speak any English and you go to a gas station or whatever, and you try to pay with a card or like let's say like a Mexican comes up here in the states and he tries to pay with like a uh, pesos Mexican money, and yeah, normally like you can't pay with that, so the cashier will say something along the lines of you can't pay with that. No, you cannot pay with that. You cannot. No. This money is no good, you know, like mm -hmm. putting emphasis on the no, you know, like, no, 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 you cannot, you know, yeah, to, try, yeah. to try and make somebody understand that doesn't speak English, like, no, and it's pretty easy, easy to understand, like, okay, they're saying no, like, they're pretty much telling me to fuck off or whatever, you know? Yeah. And if you still don't understand, they'll, I guess, normally, like, raise their voice, like, no, 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 you cannot, you know? Yeah, but I guess like in your situation, since it's Japan, they're not, they're not gonna straight up tell you no or like EA, damn it, you know. <laughs> Choto. Yeah. It's Choto. And even, and even if they say that, even if they say that, uh, again, I didn't speak Japanese at all. Yeah, so they're gonna try and like calmly explain to you why you can't do it, and you're gonna be like, "What the fuck are they saying?" You know. <laughs> yeah, there is no particular inf like emphasis on any word. Yeah. Yeah, it's like a and the guy always smiling too. So it's like yeah, yeah, that'd be confusing, man. It'd just be like smiling, not emphasizing. I'm just talking like blah, 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 blah. you know. Yeah, you don't understand that you know what the fuck is going on right now. <laughs> yeah, in it, in my head, at the same time, I'm like you know, well, uh, looks like it's going on well, but uh, why why are you taking so long? Hurry up, motherfucker! <laughs> yeah, it's like why are you smiling at me and talking to me? Just pay already. Yeah. yeah, I got gotcha. you. But like uh, after a couple of minutes, yeah, yeah there's got it's got to be something different. I, yeah. I've got to be, uh, yeah, I've got to be mistaking something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So for me, for my situation, it's not that big of a situation. It's just something I learned eventually when I first uh -huh. went to when I first went to Japan. Like same thing, konbini went to the konbini. I bought something like a little bread or something, you know. Mm -hmm. um, he rung it up, beep, and he said, uh, "Point kado gari maska." Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. which pretty much at that, at that time i didn't know what it meant because he said it fast you know just real fast he said that and i'm like uh and normally when you don't understand anything you just say hi 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 and hi means yes so you know <laughs> that's a normal thing to do like when somebody's talking to you you just say like yes you know smile and nod say yes you know so pretty much what he asked me what he asked me was point well, if you speak English, you understand it. Pointo cardo, which means point card, and gar garimasca, which means um, do you, do you have? So he said, do you have a point card or a, a points card for like the you know like a Seven Eleven points card or whatever? So he asked me like, uh, beep, uh, do you have a points card for Seven Eleven? And I'm like, yeah, smile. <laughs> and, then he, and then he looked at me, kind of like, okay, um, I'm I'm waiting for you to give it to me. And then I smiled. I'm like, yes. <laughs> we, just, we just kind of like a stare. <laughs> so we just kind of had like a stare. Uh, I've been doing that too. <laughs> yeah, so we just kind of had like a stare down of both of us like both smiling, nodding. <laughs> and, and then I think after like a few minutes of like just awkwardly like looking at each other, he's just like, yeah, this fucker doesn't have a point. Fuck a guy. Yeah. <laughs> I just gave him the money, man. Yeah. 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 Dude, I did that shit for like a month, but then after a while, like, I started, like, I started picking up on it, like, on the speed, um, the way they were saying it, and I, I understood, like, oh, they're asking me for a fucking point card, like, 
Yeah, and I just started saying like, "Only my son does." Michael, dude, Michael did something freaking similar, and it was okay. So that okay, so Michael's another student that went with me to Japan. But anyway, that happened to you at the beginning, right? Like, yeah, yeah, when you arrived. Okay, this happened to freaking uh, to Michael at the end of the trip. All right, so what happened? So we went to the ramen shop, our favorite ramen shop, yeah. Bones Ramen. Yeah. <laughs> so we went there, and the guy was asking me a few basic questions. I answered it, no problem. Then he asked Michael, and Michael just nodded. So he's just mm-hmm. like, um, it was something like, are you also from the same place he, he is? Or like, yeah. I don't know. It was a question where definitely yes was not the answer. It was like he had to be a bit more specific, but Michael just kept nodding. And the guy's like, Ni- Nihongo wakaranai ne. <laughs> and Michael just, just nodded. And I was like, Michael! <laughs> <laughs> and the guy just started laughing. <laughs> um, so, Nihongo wakaranai, that's like something that. That's something that you learn like the first week you arrive in Japan. It pretty much means don't understand Japanese. You know, <laughs> I <laughs> you don't understand. understand. <laughs> yeah, I don't understand Japanese. I don't. <laughs> understand. We could say it in both situations. Like if you say like I, I don't understand Japanese is like watashi wa nihongo wakaranai whatever. But you could also say like you don't understand Japanese. So it could go both. Si- it depends on the situation, but it could mean both meanings, like I don't understand or you don't understand. Well, anyway, so it's something we all learn when we first arrive in Japan because you're going to go around saying, you know, I don't know Japanese, I don't know. Or Japanese. you can use uh, one of our options, where or kind of already mentioned in the previous podcast. Mm-hmm. For instance, Nihongo ga chotto. Chotto, yeah. Chotto. <laughs> yeah, so Nihongo is Japanese language. Wakaranai is do not understand, and Choto is little. So, anyway, so what Jerry's saying is um, our friend Michael, he's, I guess, towards the end of the study abroad trip, um, some guy called him out on this and, like, oh, you don't understand Japanese, huh? He just nodded. <laughs> I was like, dang it. Dang it, <laughs> which is some, come Yeah, which is something he should have understood, like, right there, on, right there and then. But, you know, it, it, it's. Again, it all comes in the situation, man. When the, someone is talking to you in Japanese, like you just gotta put yourself in that situation because it, it like becomes very uh, you become nervous, you become scared, you know, like trying to understand. Dang. Because you gotta reply right away. You gotta reply yeah. right away. Yeah. Because I, mean, I know. Yeah, go ahead. I just feel bad that I name dropped. I should have done that. <laughs> Michael, if you're watching this, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It's not you. It's not like you're saying his last name or anything. <laughs> Michael, beep. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It's fine. It's fine, dude. Huh. Dude, Michael, if you are watching this, man, send me a message, man. I'd be, I'd be surprised. I'd really uh, be surprised. Uh, anyway, you get free so, action. <laughs> Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, tweet, so, so if you guys forgot, tweet at me at Kiko Brothers, and I'll send you a free Dragon Ball Z action figure of my choice. It's probably gonna be like a small figure, so don't, <laughs> don't expect anything big. Anyway, um, the fuck what was I gonna say? Ah. Uh, it. I think you was gonna have to wrap it up. Oh, I was gonna wrap it up. Ah, man. Yeah, I was gonna wrap it up. I forgot. Fuck. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you just, you just got too into it. Shit. Okay, yeah, so I don't understand Japanese, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Okay. You know what? I lost my um track, my mind track, whatever. Did I forgot what I was gonna say? So train, it doesn't matter a, now. train of thought. Train of thought, there you go. I'm sorry. Yeah, there you go. Train of thought. Train of thought, yes. T- that T- is... T-H-O-T. What? T-H-O-T. Thought. What? what? <laughs> <laughs> so, I guess um, we'll wrap this up for now. Um, yeah. Unless there's anything you guys want to add to what we just talked about. Not much. No. <laughs> Fuck, yeah, I got nothing. Okay, so... <laughs> Dude, I feel I feel so like it's gonna bother me, man. I was gonna say something, but it's gonna bother me that I can't remember. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, well, shit happens. So yeah, for the next one. All right, whatever the next one. So before we wrap up, let's go over our words one more time. Um, Jerry, why don't you tell us what the words were? Kyoku, shumi, 
逃げた<笑> no, he, he, he just said basically that motherfucker run away. <laughs> well,、uh, short on version. No, ni ga te. Ni ga te. I've been watching too much anime lately. Ni ga no. Ni ga no. So, kyoku is song, shumi is hobbies, shumi wa is hobbies is. And translated, well, literally is okay. <clears throat> let me say that again. Shumi is hobbies. Shumi wa is literally translated into hobbies is, but the translation in Japan is like, what are your hobbies?、Um, Nigate is, I'm not really into or I don't really like something, something, something. And our secret word of the day is kyomi, which is interested. Or to be interested in something. An interest. And, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. An interest. Interest. Yeah, and yeah. if you tweet me the secret word of the day, well, I don't gotta say no more, man. I don't gotta say no more. All right. So this will wrap up our fourth episode of the podcast.、Um, thank you guys for listening. Really appreciate it. E- Do you guys wanna say anything to the audience, aka our moms, aka our one friend? Uh, I can say thank you for watching. Love ya. Thank you for listening. Well, I、yeah. guess watching makes sense too because you guys are on YouTube.、Yeah. <laughs> yep, exactly. All、uh, right, yeah, we'll see you in the next one, episode five. This is the next one, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> All right, yeah,、um, thanks for listening. We'll see you guys in the next one, right? Peace. All right. Peace. Peace.